¡Sí se puede! Yes, we can, was the cry in Madrid today. These tens of thousands think they can change not just Spain, but Europe. The march of change was organized by Spain's left-wing party, Podemos, a political newcomer now threatening to win the election later this year. Its manifesto rests on cutting corruption and writing off some of Spain's debt. Sound familiar? Greece's far-left Syriza rode to power on much the same ticket, and Podemos is riding the anti-austerity wave. What these people want is change. They want the circumstances of their lives to change. I think we are going to be able to do something like they did in Greece. We must join Greece and the rest of southern Europe, those who are fighting Merkel because capitalism is over and we can't go on like this. But if Spain thinks Greece is going to get out of paying back any more of the billions it was loaned, the message from Angela Merkel today was no way, Jose. The German chancellor expects Greece to honor its debt, telling a newspaper banks and creditors have already shown billions of euros of forgiveness. But many in Spain are sick of being grateful for austerity. They're out of recession, but still one in four don't have jobs. Podemos leader Pablo Iglesias looks more like a musician than a politician. But that's the point. No expensive suits for him or his brother-in-arms, Greece's new left-wing leader Alexis Tsipras. Today, Pablo Iglesias had his own message for Germany. Hoy los gobiernos italiano y francés reconocen que hay que poner límites a Merkel. Telling Angela Merkel maybe she'll be the one who ends up isolated in Europe. Opposition to Germany's austere vision for Europe is spreading. In France, the National Front's Marine Le Pen applauded the Greek people for giving the European Union a democratic slap. Italy's government, headed by the centre-left Prime Minister Matteo Renzi, congratulated Syriza on its win too. Angela Merkel says she still wants Greece in the Eurozone, but talk of a compromise on the bailout terms is still just talk. It's called the European Union for a reason, but the continental divisions over austerity are deepening.